Hey guys, Chris Murphy here today with another new video. Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to fix an error. Okay, you know, uh, recently this game called Skyrim came out, and so some people have been this having been having this issue when you go to Skyrim and then you click on the Skyrim launcher over here, the Elder Scrolls. You double click on it, um, it comes out this error message. It says, give me a second. Application load error 5.0065434. It's a steam error at the top here, so yeah, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to fix that. So, um, in order to do that, what you first want to go do is go to your computer, go to local the C. Sorry, okay, go to wherever you install Skyrim. So usually, in uh, for normal PCs, it should be in Program Files 0 times 86. Uh, if you are running a 64-bit Windows, you should find it here. If you're running a normal Windows, you should find it here. Sorry, 32-bit Windows, you should find it in the normal Program Files. But for me, I installed it on somewhere else, so it's here. So you should just say in the Elder Scrolls v Skyrim. Double click on it, and you have all your stuff here. Now, so you just drag it to a site, and then next, what you want to do is you want to go and open up. Um, your ISO file. So, for example, if you downloaded Skyrim and you have the ISO file, what you do is you need to open it up. So, um, there'll be a link to my previous video here about how you can get, uh, how you can open up Skyrim. But basically, once uh, you open it up, just click on my video to watch how you do that. Once you open it up, have it in your CD drive. Right click it and click open. Now you see Skyrim opens up and everything. Go to Razer 1911. Double click on that folder. Razer 1911 over here. In your ISO uh, or CD drive, I'll yeah, grab everything here and taking this, drag it over here. Now you see blah 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 blah. Click do this for the next three conflicts and click copy and replace. So let it load and everything. Once it's finished copying, just close out of everything. Go to your launcher and once you click on it, as you can see, the message no longer appears. So you can just click on play and have fun playing Skyrim. So thanks for watching this short video guys. I hope it fixes your error. And as always, have a good day. Thanks for watching my video and have a lot of fun playing it in Skyrim. Alright, so goodbye.